Hello guys, I want to share with you this teaching that's going to be very, very blessed. Miracle money. I'm going to give you a few nuggets that you can use that you have the advantage in life. As you know, I am a pastor and I teach from the Bible because the Bible has mysteries and secrets and know the truth, and the truth will make you free. And one of those nuggets is you have to be fearless. You have to get out the box. Just can't go to church. Just can't listen to the sermons. You have to explore. You have to ask questions. And when you find people, they tell you don't ask no questions, don't explore, don't investigate. That's a limitation. And religion, I'm not with because it separates but you know, I do my thing and I'm going to help you to improve in life and live the best life that you can. I want to tell you a few stories about miracle money, but I'm going to explain it to you. And if you get this, you're going to be successful. One of the um, videos I made talks about People who say they made or they manifest 50,000, 25,000, 100,000. That comes and goes. You want to get the spirit of life and creation constantly. I have manifest $25,000, manifest cars. And this is outside of my ministry and outside of me having services in church. I'm, this is the importance of what I'm teaching. If I didn't do anything, and I didn't have any connections, this is where you want to get this into your mind and into your being. Now, a lot of people buy these. And I got a couple. And I do it for fun. Trust me when I tell you. But if you are thinking that your money and your success is going to come through the lottery and this. More power to you. But that's really a struggle and a hard way of going about it. Because again, money comes and goes. And basically my attitude about money, it's just money. Now you got to understand there is a deeper understanding and a principle when I say things. And you are welcome to ask me, what do I mean? Because in all you're getting... You have to get an understanding. That's why I teach interpretation. Basically interpreting the Bible in a way that it can be understood in today's present and today's reality. Revelation where God reveals truth to you. And your understandings open up and it becomes illuminated. And everyone have that ability and can tap into that. And then clarification where you want to be able to bring what history and what truths and what knowledge you gain into your present life. And of course, in all you're getting, get an understanding. I'm going to share with you how I manifest $1,000 in 10, 15 minutes. And you probably can apply that and use it. Because the best thing, even when you have this understanding and this knowledge and this wisdom you got to be able to apply it. And really, without manifestation, you don't know if it works until you see it. And I am one who sticks with what works. When you come out of love, you come out of care and compassion, all that is good and all that is God. Okay? And so... If you just bear with me, I want to share with you how to get your miracle money. First of all, you get what you think about. And in order to think about something, you should speak it into your life. And words are powerful and it's semantics. You pick the word that works for you. I, since I come from a teacher of the Bible, I'm going to pick the word prophesy. 
That's a powerful thing. When you hear a prophecy, that's a word from God. That's a word of instructions. That's a word of inspiration, encouragement, creativity, and expectation, which I do believe in the law of expectation greatly. That's why I say I expect wonderful things to happen to me all day and every day. Make it a habit, okay? So I'm going to teach you how to prophesy to yourself. You make it a habit. See, you are little gods. And you have the big God within you, and that's a lot of God. There's no need having all that God and not being able to take the advantage and use it for your well-being to be, to do, and to have. I love it. I remember a time when I was not doing well with finances and it was Christmas and I wanted to be able to do something for my children and for my family and when I tell you I was broke not poor but I was broke I was broke it had to be maybe 10 days before Christmas and I remember something I read and what God does for me he illuminates things where I begin to understand, I can hear, I can see, I can observe, I can perceive. Because it's not what you see, is what you perceive. And how do you hear from God? Anytime you receive something, whether you read it, it's in a video, it's in a story, it's a movie, or talking, or passing something, it's something you feel. God is what you feel. And all of a sudden, something will come to you and open up and you feel Maybe I should do that. Maybe I should apply that. So again, that's a good nugget right there. You know God's voice because you can feel it. It's a feeling. It's, it's separate from all of You can get many, many things that come across your path. But how do you know what is right? You begin to become sensitive to the feeling. And you know feeling is the interpretation that you say to God and the creativity as well. And I came across where you can write down how much you want. Like I receive a certain amount of money and put a date on it. And everything takes faith. Some people believe in faith. Some people don't believe in faith. But everything is a scientific process. And whether you call it faith or not, it very well be could be faith to someone else. It could be your technique to someone else. But if they have the elements... I'm trying to make it easy for you. We don't have to worry about scratching these off. I got these, but this is just a game to me. My finances and miracle money doesn't come from this. And if it did, that's cool too. Because you got to understand God has many ways. And let me relieve you. There are a thousand ways that God can bless you, that you can be blessed. And most of the time when we need something or we find ourselves in a situation we are limited to the opportunities or the options that are available to us that becomes fear, stress, and intimidation. I'm telling you right now, there are the thousand ways that God can bless you. Understanding that alone can change your life, right? So I'm here to tell you, you got to understand the right great things gonna happen woman has his name and I just him. turned on my she says car. She likes his hair I like your hair he says and um, I'm gonna turn some air on Is that okay thank you give me a second so I can continue to teach you this process so ten days before Christmas I wrote down these words I receive six thousand dollars by Christmas. Now, when you write a date, I've done this numerous times. I receive $10,000. I receive $5,000. For instance, if it's November, by the end of November, or I put a date on it, by the 1st of December, Whatever time you're listening to me, you can write down the amount I receive, $5,000, 
by the end of the month. Put a date on it. Just a little piece of paper. Carry it with you. Read it every now and then. Put it in your pocketbook, your wallet, or your pocket. And believe it. Ten days before Christmas, I wrote down, I received $6,000. And so, that's exactly what happened. I believe it was maybe four or five days after I wrote that. I was sitting in a friend's house. And someone said, Pat, are you in? Because they knew where I was. Come out. And when I came out, they gave me a check. And here's how you know it's God. For the same amount that I wrote. $6,000. They said, we just came into a piece of money. And we wanted to be a blessing to you. It can happen. What you have to do when you start on this road of faith. Stay on the road of faith. Don't quit. Don't give up. And you will see it manifest. Don't get discouraged. That the power is already in you. Everything you need is already in you. The Bible says in St. Luke 12, 32. Fear not, little flock. It is God's good pleasure to give you the kingdom. And if he's giving you the kingdom, that means you already have it. You don't have to find it. You don't have to look for it. You just have to tap into the power that you already have. And when you do that, great things will happen for you. Just turn the car off. I hope that sounds better. Okay? But I want to share with you quickly that when you understand what I'm teaching you, you don't have to stress yourself. And the reason why I'm talking about these here is because I do not stress myself. I would not go into a store, get one of these and scratch it off and so nervous and stretched and excited where I'm thinking I'm going to win, I don't win. That's too much for me. Some of you can do that. That's not an easy way. That's a difficult way. I do not allow myself to be stressed to be nervous, to be upset. And anything that caused me to be too excited or anxious, be anxious for nothing, I step back and I, you know, try to figure out there gotta be another way. Or I begin to fill my mind with I expect wonderful things to happen. I prophesy that to myself. And there is a way that will happen for you. There's a thousand ways God can bless you. Write that down, rehearse that into your mind and spirit. There's a thousand ways that God can bless you. So stop looking for just one way that you think you're going to make some money or you're going to receive some money or your miracle money is going to come. And when you let it go, now I'm not saying this is not going to happen because I could scratch it off today and <laughs> become rich. But I need more than just money. You need the spirit of joy, the spirit of peace, the spirit of love, the spirit of wisdom and tap into the power. Let me say this too. You talk about when you're manifesting, you have to have high energy. You have to reach that vibration. And you have to, you know, tap into that frequency. Let me make it easy for you. All of they're saying is how it's broken down. But the truth of the matter is, there's one place and one spirit that you need to always maintain. All you have to do is stay happy. Teach yourself how to be happy. Learn what makes you happy. Stay in a jovial, joyful, and happy mindset and spirit. Because your joy is connected to your success. You stay full of joy. That's the high frequency. That is a creative and attractive frequency. That is a power frequency. So all I do is stay happy. Now, I'm telling you this because some of you are studying so many things and it can become confusing. Oh, yes, it can. Some of you are smarter than others and others are just not that quick. They're not that, that dumb. Just take them a minute. It takes me a minute, some time to figure things out. But that's what life is all about. Learning, going over in it, 
rehearsing it until you get it. So if you keep joy, you'll keep a high frequency. If you keep joy, you'll keep high energy. If you stay joyful, you will fulfill the requirements to create anything you want. Write that down. Stay happy. Let me tell you how I stay happy. I'm happy. And here's the first requirement. Because I choose to be happy. I don't let nothing or no one pull me out of my joy. I do not participate in arguments. I do not participate in disagreements. I will state my purpose. I will try to speak and say things that's necessary. But if I cannot and realize that when someone is upset and someone is angry and situations are out of control, you can't change it anyway. They're not listening to you. And I tell you now, Jesus' joy is way more than just knowing Jesus. Mm. See, people know Jesus, know about Jesus, read about Jesus, talk about Jesus, think they understand the Jesus that is so giving and blessed. But if you don't have Jesus' joy, you really don't understand Jesus because that is the power and the creative level to make all things possible. Um, I don't want to make this long. Perhaps I'll give a part two, but I want to share with you how I manifest $1,000 in 15 minutes. Well, I needed $1,000 like yesterday. Okay? And um, I believe in prayer because prayer gathers all of the requirements to get in the answer to prayer. Prayer is the thought, the imagination, and the feeling all at once. You can't go wrong with prayer. Okay? Now you pray the way that you know how to pray and what's best for you. And if you know how to think, you can pray. And if you know how to imagine, that's prayer. And if you know how to feel, that's prayer too. But a real meditation and focus on all those levels. You see? So you can put them all together and have a great prayer. Each one of them can stand alone. And so this is why I make these teachings so you'll see it's not as difficult as it may seem for those who may not be quick as others. I'm trying to help those who say, you know, there has to be an easier way. And it is. Just understand this and that will happen. Understand that and this will happen. Get that right and that will automatically happen. This is what I'm trying to share with you. Some of you are just doing too many things. You're overthinking it. You're trying too hard. And it shouldn't be hard. Because if it's real, it should work for everyone. You just have to move yourself out the way. Okay? So, let me tell you how I usually create miracle money. I imagine myself counting up to $100,000. Do that. Write that down. Close your eyes. Get comfortable. And imagine if you had $100,000, where would you count it? On your table? In your bedroom? In the kitchen? Where would you count the money? Sometimes I count my money on my bed. Sometimes I count it in my living room. So however it is, close your eyes and start counting up to $100,000. And you'll start seeing money come your way, miracle money, because you're creating it. And you know, you get that feeling when you have money, it's a great feeling. And that's how you create a miracle money. You have to feel you have money. So ask yourself, what would it be like if I had all the money I needed to do every and anything I want to do? What would you do? Pay off some bills? Buy a new car? Help your loved one? You know, put it in the bank. What would you do? Go through that process. See yourself going through the movements and the actions. And I'm telling you, money will start flowing your way. A thousand different ways God can bless you. So I count perhaps a hundred dollar bill because if you count ones, you'll be there forever. You do it the way that you feel comfortable. Count a hundred thousand bills to a thousand. Then I turned them thousands into 10,000. This particular day, I went on the internet and um, 
I heard this teacher talking about the electrons, the atoms, protons, neutrons, but the electrons is the light that speeds around the atoms. The speed of light are even faster than the speed of light. He said, if you want anything to create it, think on them, the electrons. So hopefully this will help out. So on this board, the vertical axis is the progression of time. And this line right here is where we are right now. This is our now line, which technically is moving upward slowly as time progresses, but let's just ignore that for now. And this is our electron path. And it's traveling forward and backwards in time. It travels one direction, and then it meets some kind of force and travels back the other direction. Maybe that force is the beginning and end of time. Maybe it's something else. But as you can see, it winds forward and backward over and over again. Let's just wrap that up right there. So what does this mean to us? Well, if you think back to that flatland analogy at the beginning of this video, you could consider us to be the flatlanders of time because we can only see across one plane right here. So even though this electron is spanning the infinite timeline of the universe infinite number of times, to us, we only see it when it crosses our path, which in this case is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 times. Now, in actuality, this would be a lot closer to, say, infinity, but I only have so much string. But the idea is we see a nearly infinite number of electrons just doing their electron thing when reality, it was one electron all along. Meaning that you and I and everyone we know and everything we can touch and every planet, star, and galaxy in the universe are made up of the exact same electron. Yes, I position myself again. I use my imagination by creating $100,000, but this time I didn't count to $100,000, I was in a hurry. I only counted $1,000 over and over again. Well, for about 10 minutes. In the electrons, in the atoms, and lo and behold, that miracle took place. So what am I sharing with you? You can have miracle money, and it don't always have to come through this. And if you're stressing, stop stressing. And if you're too anxious, that's gonna work against you. See, worry, fear, and anxiety will block you. You always wanna stay in a place of joy. And if you stay in a place of joy, you don't need scratch-offs. That's one way, but not the only way. You don't even need a job. That's one way, but not the only thing, only way. You know, you won't need anything but faith. Faith in the kingdom, in the God. Ye are little gods. And God is in you. That's a lot of God. What well, do you have any comments? Excuse me. If you have any comments, anything you want to ask, by all means, ask it and subscribe. And make a habit of saying, I thank God for my miracle money. Make a habit of saying, something wonderful is happening to me now. And here's a prophecy that really will bless you. God, do something extraordinary in me, do something extraordinary through me, and do something extraordinary for me. These prophecies and your faith will give you the advantage. Until next time, peace.